Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part 8. We have already done some questions for meaning 9.4. So we are going to continue. So we'll start with question number 6. Already 5 done. So articles are marked at a price which gives a profit of 25%. After allowing a certain discount, the profit reduces to 12 and half percentage and you have to find the discount percentage so now we are here we don't know what is the cost price so now let us consider the cost price as 100 so mark price is what that will be cost price for plus 25 percent of cost price so here the cost price we are considered as 100 100 plus 25 percent because it is given which gives a profit of 25 percent so here 25 percent of this 100 so this and this gets cancelled so 100 plus 25 that is going to be rupees 125 so now what happens here after allowing a certain discount the profit reduces to 12 and half percentage so new profit is what 12 and half percentage so we can also write this as 12.5 percentage so the selling price will be cost price plus then 12.5 percentage of the cost price so cost price is 100 and 12.5 percentage means 12.5 divided by 100 into 100. So this gets cut. So this will be when you add this one that is going to be rupees 112.5. So the selling price is 112.5. So now here they said find the discount percentage. So first thing let us see what is the discount. So discount is what? Mark price minus the selling price. So this is the 112.5 and the mark price is 125 so here 125 minus 112.5 that is going to be 12 rupees 12.5 so discount percentage means that is they want what discount divided by mark price this you have to remember into 100 so what is the discount we got here is 12.5 and the mark price is here 125 into 100 so what we can do here since we are doing this without a KLC, so what we can do we, because there's there's a decimal over here so 12.5 can be written as 125 and because this is after one number there is a decimal so we can write the 10 so 125 by 10 and this 125 as it is in the denominator in 200 so now what will you do this is the numerator numerator write as it is and this denominator 125 means there is a it is divided by 1 so this gets flip over so that will be 1 by 125 into 100 so now what will you hear this 125 125 gets cancelled that will be 1 10 ones are and 10 tens are so that will be 10 percentage that is what they have asked the discount percentage a toaster is marked for sale at rupees 1650 there is a discount of 8% and still the profit made is 20% of the cost price of the toaster. Find its cost price. So here let us consider the cost price as X. And the selling price after 8% discount that is what is given here. There is a discount of 8%. 8% means that is going to be 92% of what? That is the mark price that is 16.50 because mark for sale at 1650. So selling price after 8% discount that is 92% of the mark price. So 92% into that is as I told you here that is 1650. So that will be 92 by 100 into 1650. This and this gets cancelled. 5 twos are and 5 33 are. So now you will be 2 ones are and 2 46 are. So this is going to be 46 into 33. That is 1518. That is the selling price. So now here that is selling price is again we can just write here that is cost price plus 20 percent profit because they said and still the profit made is 20 percent of the cost price of the toaster so selling price is cost price plus 20 percent this is profit so now here you know now you got the selling price is 1518 because now we want the cost price here that is x and 20 percent of this will be You can write here 20% of 25 x. So this will be 
same thing you will write here and 20 percent means 20 by 100 into x so this will we can cancel this one 21s are 25s are so here this is a second uh, separate term and this is a separate term so this we are going to take as x by 5 so x plus x by 5 so now when we take the lcm of this one this is going to be 5 so 5x plus x that is going to be 6x so this will be 6x by 5 this is the same so now this 5 will take on this side so 5 and this will go in the denominator by 6 and this x will remain on the same side so when you separate this one this this goes with 6 6 into 253 253 into 5 that is 1265 is x so we can write your cost price is rupees which is x we have considered x as a cost price that is 1265 that is what they are asked find the cost price a shopkeeper increases the cost of an article by 10 percent and then allows a discount of 15 percent on it so how much does the cost customer pay for an article which had an initial cost price of rupees 800 so now here they are said the initial cost price is rupees 800 and then the shopkeeper increases the cost of an article by 10 percent and then allows a discount of 15 percent so price after this is 10 percent increase so what will be that cost price plus 10 percent of cost price so that will be cost price is what is that that is 800 plus 10 percent of 800 so this will be 800 10 percent means 10 by 100 into 800 of means this multiplication so 100 ones are 108 are. so this is one term so that will be 800 plus 80 810 sir so this will be 80 so that will be 880 price after 8 percent increase uh, sorry that is 10 percent increase and then he uh, they said that then the uh, allows a discount of 15 percent on it so now discount of 15 percent means on it means on this one so 15 percent of 880 so 15 percent again we can write a 15 by 100 into 880 so this goes so five twos are five threes are then two ones are into 44 are so that will be 44 threes are that will be 132 so now what did they say here how much does a customer pay for an article which had an initial cost price of 800 so how much does the cost customer pay that will be this is 880 and this is the discount given so from that you have to subtract the discount so 880 minus 132 that is rupees 748 the customer pays 748 rupees sheila goes to a boutique to find a, to buy a dress she likes the dress marked at rupees 6500 12.5% gst is applicable she requests the boutique owner to give her a discount so that she pays only rupees 6500 find the discount amount and the discount percentage so now here let the original price of this one her dress be rupees x so the mark price is given this is as 6500 so gst on gst on this what on the original price or oh, that is x so that is 12 percent 12.5 percentage so 12.5 percentage of x so 12.5 percent means you will write over 12.5 divided by 100 into x so now this 12.5 what we can do there we can write a 125 by 10 and this is the denominator the same 100 into x so this is the numerator let us write as it is and this is as it is and this is divide this is the denominator it gets flip over that is going to be 1 by 100 and this x so this is going to be 125 by 1000 into x so when you divide this one so you know these are three zeros so you will write a 125 and you will go backwards three and then put a decimal so this is 0 0.125 x so this is the gst so now they said here 12.5 uh, percent gst is applicable she requests the boutique owner to give her a discount so that she pays only rupees 6500 so here this was the gst on rupees x so now total price was what this was original price this was x plus this GS, gst that is 0 0.125 x so this will be 1.125 x 
so Sheila pays only six thousand five hundred. So now what will you write here? This is the total is one point one two five is equal to six thousand five hundred. So x is going to be six thousand five hundred divided by one point one two five. So now what will you do here? Six. This will write as it is, and this one point one two five. Because there are after three numbers is a decimal, so you are going to put here three zeros divided by one thousand. So this the numerator as it is, and this denominator will get flip over. That will be one thousand by one one two five. So when you simplify this, you can simplify and see. This one you can do it any way. So that is going to be fifty two thousand divided by nine. That is. Five seven 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 point six seventy eight rupees. So now the discount. This is the x means what is that? That is the original price we got it. So the discount is what six thousand five hundred MP minus the. This is the cost price now. So now this will be this MP minus this cost price. Because here this x we have considered as the that is the original price. So that is the of six thousand five hundred minus five seven seven point seventy eight. That will be seven twenty two point twenty two. But we we want here they are asked for the find the discount amount and the discount percentage. So we got the discount amount. This is seven twenty two point twenty two. And now the discount percentage is the formula is discount divided by MP that is the mark price into hundred. So discount we got is seven twenty two point twenty two, and the mark price is six thousand five hundred into hundred. So these two zeros get cut, and when you divide this one, you get eleven point eleven percent. So this is the answer. Mrs. Rayman buys crockery marked at rupees six thousand five hundred a day. She gets a discount of eight percent. If the GST is eight percent, find the amount she pays for the crockery. So here the mark price is given as six thousand five hundred, and discount is what eight percent of the. She gets a discount of eight percent. That means that is eight percent of the mark price. So eight percent means eight by hundred into this much. The mark price is six thousand five hundred. So this and this gets cancelled. So this will be. Five hundred and twenty. Now let us find the selling price. Selling price is what? The mark price minus the discount. So mark price is six thousand five hundred minus the discount is five hundred and twenty. So that will be five nine eight zero is the selling price. So they said if the GST is eight percent, find the amount she pays for the crockery. So GST on this one five nine eight zero. That is eight percent of five nine eight zero. So that is going to be. Eight by hundred into five nine eight zero. So this and this gets cancelled. Two fives are two fours are, and when you multiply this one, that will be two three nine two divided by five. That is four seventy eight point four. That is the GST. So total amount paid by Mrs. Rayman that will be five nine. That is the five nine eight zero plus this GST amount. So that is six four. Five eight point four. That is rupees. So this is the answer. So by this one we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.